I'm going to show you a very easy way to find the area of a regular polygon if you know its perimeter and its apothem. So first of all, an apothem of a regular polygon is any line segment drawn from the center of that polygon perpendicular to one of its sides. All right, it's going to a flat side, it's making a 90 degree angle. See, goes to a flat side, goes to a flat side. All right, just remember that a regular polygon has all its sides congruent, they're all equal, and all the interior angles are equal to each other, okay? And the apothem can help us find the area of a regular polygon, this little line segment right here going to this flat side. Now, all apothems of regular polygons are congruent to each other, and we can say that they lay on top of each other and they're the same. So the apothem that would be going this way would be the same length as this one because it's a regular polygon. It's got all equal sides. So each apothem would be equal to that one, see? And just remember that the equal sign with the little swirly line means congruent in symbols, all right? So look at the difference here. This is an apothem and that's not. Can you tell the difference? This is going to that 90 degree T-shaped perpendicular side. This one's going to a corner. This one's going to a vertex. That is the radius of a regular polygon. It's not an apothem. It's a line segment that joins the center of a regular polygon to one of its vertices. Okay, that's not perpendicular to a side. That would be like 45 degrees or something, wouldn't it? All right, so there's two ways to do this, and this is the long way, okay? If we know the apothem is 4 inches and we know that the perimeter is 30, well, there's five sides in a pentagon, so we would divide that 30 by the five sides. That means one side is 6 inches. And if one side is 6 inches, that means this little piece here is 3 inches. And half base height is the formula for the area of a triangle. So we could find this area and then find all the other little triangles that are in here and add them to the, together, couldn't we? We could multiply it by that many. So if we know that's a 4 for the apothem and a 3 for half of this side, we could do 4 times 3, which is 12. We don't need this, do we? We can do 4 times 3, which is 12, and multiply it by a half and get a 6-inch square. So there's 6 inches square inside of here. Well, in a pentagon, there's how many of those little triangles? There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 of them. And if each one is 6 inches, that means it's 60 inches square, doesn't it? But we didn't have to do that. We didn't have to multiply it by that half for that formula, the half base height. We could have just done three times four, and instead of doing 10 parts that are six inches square, we could have just kept it at 12 and multiplied it by five and got our 60 inches square, see? Multiplying it by half and doing it by 10 is just creating extra work, see? Work smart, not hard. So that would give us 60 inches square. Now, that's great, and it's accurate, and we can do that, but there's a quicker way. There's a shorter way. The area of a regular polygon with an apothem of A, so we're going to say 4 inches, and perimeter P, we're going to say 30 inches, is found with this formula, half AP. All you have to do is multiply the apothem times your perimeter, but remember, it's got to be a regular polygon. We'll get 120, we multiply it by a half, and we get our 60 square inches. And that's much quicker than going through this and then having to multiply it by how many little triangles there are in there. This is more direct, isn't it? Let's try it again. We know our apothem in this octagon is 7 millimeters. We know the perimeter is 64 millimeters. So all we have to do is half AP. We multiply 7 times the perimeter 64 and get 448. We cut that in half, or multiply it in half, divide it in half, whatever, and we get 224 millimeters square. See? More straightforward, isn't it? So you're going to have this in sixth grade math. You're going to see, they're not going to call it an apothem, okay? But you're going to see this in sixth grade math because they're going to introduce it to you, and you're also going to see it in geometry. I'm going to have links in this description to those levels of videos, okay? So if you need a little extra help and you'd like to see more on this topic, you can just click on the description, all right? I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you next time. Bye.